Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to be talking about Sky High and in case you're wondering why I'm doing things a little differently, it's because uh, for my actual video that I decided to make, uh, for some reason my audio wasn't coming out very clear and uh, this is my attempt to make everything better. So I hope uh, this isn't too distracting and it's going to be very similar to what I did for Rosemary's Baby. So, let's get into the review. So Sky High is a movie that I used to watch a lot as I was a kid, and I always liked the movie. I always uh, liked watching the action scenes, and I thought they were fun. I thought there were some fun characters. And re-watching it, there were parts that I liked, but unfortunately, uh, most of it was pretty dull and boring for me, and it didn't really hold up, unfortunately. The best parts about the movie are the supporting characters, I think Kurt Russell is a lot of fun in this movie. He's not great, but he's at least entertaining to watch, along with Bruce Campbell. He's pretty funny. And I liked the sidekick characters. I thought they were fun. And uh, there were a couple of fun scenes with them. And uh, there were definitely parts that I enjoyed. There were parts where I was entertained. However, where my problems with this movie come in are with the main character and the writing for this movie, and it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. I guess I'll just start with the main character, because the main character, he's kind of bland. I don't really care for him, and I didn't think the actor who played him was great. And there were some performances in this movie that I thought were pretty bland and didn't really work for me, and a lot of the writing wasn't really that great and there were plenty of jokes in the movie that just didn't land and the only jokes that landed were ones from Kurt Russell and uh, Bruce Campbell and it's mostly because uh, those two actors are just putting in a, a lot of their efforts into the script and it's not really the dialogue it's those two actors and there was a lot of forced drama in this movie and uh, I was uh, cringing at uh, a lot of not just uh, the humor and the drama, but a lot of other moments as well. And there were plenty of parts that just did not make any sense to me whatsoever. It just, uh, how exactly did you do this? Or why didn't uh, a character do that? Or how exactly does that work? There's a lot of issues uh, with this movie uh, when it comes to superheroes being everywhere. And it kind of creates some problems for me. There's this one character who can run really fast and he's supposed to be a bully. And uh, there's a moment where our main character picks him up uh, and he's still running super fast uh, for no reason. As if uh, he can't tell whether or not uh, he should be, he's uh, moving really fast or not. And that just didn't make any sense to me. I also didn't really enjoy the production design of everything. It kind of looked like a Joel Schumacher Batman movie. They were trying to make a mix between a cartoon and a live action. And it just came across as goofy and really bad and stupid. <laughs> there were also some character moments that I thought were really stupid and things could have easily been explained if a character had explained it just a little bit more than what they did instead of just it being surface level and I found that to be kind of annoying. The action scenes in this movie were fine. They weren't terrible. They did the job but that's all they did. <sighs> like I, I don't know what else to say about them. And that's really all I have to say about Sky High. It's a movie that I liked as a kid that didn't really age very well for me. And there were some pretty bad effects, but I can forgive it because it's an older movie. And there's really not much else I have to say about this movie. I'm struggling to even find things to talk about, but the problem with the movie is that it's just kind of forgettable to me. And so I'm going to give Sky High a 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Sky High down below. And my social media links, they will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up. And that is going to be for Schindler's List. I saw it once before, and I haven't seen it since, and I'm excited to revisit it. But until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.